All right, guys, I got something new in the mail today. I uh, got a Castle 1721 four pole 2400 kV motor. Um, I decided to make a video because someone said make a video when you get it, but I wanted to take it a step further because anytime I'm looking to buy something, I always look for videos to see the specifics on what I'm looking at to buy. So, one of the big things for me that I was wor not worried, but I was hoping was this. Stock Arma motor mount, and it fits. Fits and it actually has maybe a millimeter or two clearance. Not much, but it fits in there perfectly. And the reason why I wanted to know if that worked is because I like the stock Arma infraction and limitless motor mount. Because it's simple, it's sturdy, it, uh, it, I just I just like it. I have a fancier one, um, but I just like the simplicity. I like, it's just like with a lot of stuff on my cars, I try and keep it simple. So, um, I'm going to show you to the, the, uh, the KV and the amp draw on this motor. Let me um, get this hooked up. So you can see how it performs. So so twenty three forty. The um, so it's twenty three forty four KV. 16,600 RPM and it's 6.6 .6 amps. So, um, that's, that's, that's a lot of, a lot of KV and a lot of RPM for a big motor. It's 47 millimeters. Um, it comes with, you know, the bullets, the, the females, it already comes with the wires, you know, and the eight millimeter bullets soldered onto it. And of course it comes with a, uh, a, uh, sensor wire uh, the funny thing is the note in here it says product usage warning the 1721 2400 kv is an extreme motor designed for experienced users only so i thought that was funny but anyway um the motor uh i can't wait to try it out it's a little bit shorter than a 4070 tp motor of course it's larger diameter because this is a 40 millimeter so um yeah that's my uh little review of the motor i uh, hope you enjoyed it